Hi, I'm David Schanholm. Recently I showed you in another video how to make Office 365 write your to-do list for you. The idea is that when it comes to the larger tasks you have to do that consist of several other smaller tasks and that you do more than once, you of course don't want to write similar tasks in your to-do list over and over again. That would be work without real value. Wouldn't it be easier if you could just set the deadline for something and uh, then your to-do list creates all the necessary tasks with the respective due dates already calculated? But what if you are not an Office 365 user but instead use Gmail, Mail for Mac or some other mail app? What do you do if you use another list app than Outlook Tasks? Let me show you one way to do it. Let's use the same baking example as last time. Every now and then we want to bake something. What pastry we want to bake differs, but the process is similar. While we used Microsoft Flow previously, we will now instead use the automation service Zapier instead. Since Zapier connects to more than 1000 other web services, there are plenty of ways to do what we want to do now. So consider what I will now show you, one solution among many others. First, in the data collection service Typeform, create a form where you enter what pastry you want to bake, as well as on what date you want it baked. Then in Zapier, create a new Zap, which is the equivalent to a flow in Flow. As a trigger, choose Typeform and the bakery form you created earlier. Now it is time to create the Zap's first action, that is to write the first to-do task on your to-do list. But first, let's create another action, that is letting Zapier's own formatter calculate the task's due date based on the deadline for the pastry itself. Choose Add Subtract Time what date to base your calculation on, how many days before deadline you want the due date to be, and what format you prefer for the date. Now, let's create the actual task. Zapier can create tasks in many to-do list tools, such as Asana, Todoist, Wunderlist, Trello, and many others. But let's say that you use Todoist. Create an action that writes a new task on your to-do list in Todoist with the title Buy Ingredients for and pick the pastry's name from the form in Typeform. Set the due date to the date that Formatter has calculated for you. Create a few actions more that writes the remaining tasks on your to-do list and end with an action that sends you an email informing you that the tasks for the upcoming baking session are written on your list. Test the procedure by entering into the type form form that you want to bake cookies and that you want them to be ready on a particular date. And then wait a moment until you receive an email from Zapier that says that your list is written. Take a look at your list in Todoist and be thankful that the things you have to remember to do to be able to eat cookies on your big day sits in the list as new tasks. And we're done! If you automate the writing of some of your tasks this way, you will have more time to work on the tasks. This simplifies things immensely for me every time that I get a new assignment. When a customer books me for a talk, that means that I get nine more things to do that relate to the new assignment. Nine to-do tasks, that is. Let's say that I give 70 talks per year. That will mean that I have to write 630 tasks on my list myself, but I don't, since Zapier does it for me. That way I get more time to explore my subject so that my talk gets even better and my audience gets more out of listening to me. What an automation like this would mean to you in more time and less effort, only you can know. Thanks.